and have and achieve more in your personal and your business life. Now, the other reason why people don't set goals is that they just don't understand the importance of setting goals and the influence that goals will have in their life. I always like to use the example as this. Have you ever bought a car before and whatever that model was and then all of a sudden after you bought that car, you all of a sudden start seeing it everywhere? You know, you start noticing it everywhere. Or if you've ever, this is mainly for the ladies, if you've ever purchased an outfit, maybe sometimes right after you purchase the outfit, now you start seeing people wearing the very same outfit that you purchased. Well, keep in mind, it's not, the simple, it's not a fact of whether the, the automobile company just started making that car right after you bought it, because I'm quite certain they've been making it for years. And it's not that the, uh, the garment manufacturer just started making that particular style right after you bought it. The style and the automobile have been around all this time. It's just that now your mind is focused in on that object. Goals work the same way. Goals help us to focus in on what it is that we're looking to achieve in our lives. And once you set these goals, you will notice that everywhere you go, it may be objects, it may be people, it may be something you read in the newspaper. Out of nowhere, ideals will come to you people will come be drawn to you or more so you will be drawn to people who will help you achieve those goals not because of anything that magical has happened it's just that now your mind is focused in on what it is that you're looking to achieve you know the mind is a very complex i call it computer a mind is a very complex thing and we have hundreds of millions of input coming into our mind every second you know, through all of our senses, through our ears, through our, our, our nose, what we're smelling, what we're able to see, what we're able to touch, what we're able to hear. And our mind filters out the things that we don't readily need at that moment. By setting specific goals of what we want to achieve, our mind is able to process that information, filter that information, and narrow it down and bring into our lives what it is we're looking to achieve. Now, I want to talk about four categories of goals. Now there are four categories of goal setting or four levels of goal setting which allow us to keep balanced goals. Now our lives have to be balanced. We can't have more of one thing and less of another because what ends up happening is our life tends to fall out of balance. So I want you to make note of four key categories of goal setting in your life. The first category would be health and spiritual category. We would label our goals uh, th that pertain to health and spiritual under this category. The second key category of balance and goal setting would be financial and career. And under this we would put different goals such as um, where we want to be on our job, uh, what, what type of income we want to earn, uh, what type of investments we want to make. We would put these under that category. The next category would be uh, family and relationships. And these would be the goals that pertain particularly to what type of family life do we want to have? What type of relationship do we want to have with our kids? Do we want to get married? What type of relationships do we want to encounter? And the last category would be benevolent and personal development goals. Um, do you want to learn how to play the piano? Do you want to finish college out? Do you want to take uh, particular classes? Uh, do you want to give a, a, a certain amount of money to the needy? Do you want to start a charity? We would put goals of that nature under this category. Now, why is it so important to balance these goals out in such a way? Well, for instance, if we set a goal that we want to achieve financial wealth, and that's the only thing that we're striving for, but we don't have any physical go health goals or spiritual goals, then yes, we've achieved great success in the financial realm, but also what good does it do us is if we have all of this money in the bank, but we're not around to even be able to enjoy it because we've set no health goals or no spiritual goals. So it's very important to have balance in your goals. Another key important uh, thing to note about setting goals and keeping things balanced is you want to make sure that your goals don't contradict each other. Uh, to use the example from earlier, you, you don't want to set a goal of having, let's say, $100,000 in the bank or becoming the, the, the top of your corporation CEO, let's say, in three years. You know that in order to do that, it's going to take a tremendous amount of time for you to do that. 
So if you set that goal, it would kind of be foolish of you to also set the goal that you are want to give 100% to your family and spend a lot of time with your family. Those are contradictory goals because you're not going to be able to become CEO of a company in several years, starting from the bottom, and also develop a strong relationship with your family. What that's going to do is end up causing a lot of conflict and a lot of stress in your life. So you want to make sure that your goals are not contradictory to each other. This concludes our first half of our goal setting process. Remember, you can find more resources at our website by logging on to livingsuccessnetwork.com.